Hi boys, we are starting a new question, question number 11. Question 11 says the monthly income of a group of 320 employees in a company is given below. Monthly income given in rupees 1000, 6 to 7, 7 to 8, going up to 12 to 13. Uh, draw an ogive graph sheet taking 2 centimeters is equal to rupees 1000 on one axis. Uh, so they've already given me uh, the What's it called? The uh, scale. So the first one is 6000. So I'm calling it 6. Next is 7. Next is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is the x axis. This is uh, monthly income in rupees 1000. So this is what I have plotted here. Monthly income is in rupees 1000 on the x axis. And on the y axis, they say 2 centimeter is equal to 50 employed. I notice that this is uh, first one is equivalent to 6, whereas each one is only 6000, each one is 1000. So I put a kink. And on the y axis, they want 50 employees. So this is 50, 100. 150, 200, 250, 300 and 350. We have a total of uh, 320 employees. This is my y-axis and what I have plotted is cumulative frequency of number of employees. Perfect. Going up in this direction. The only thing remaining is scale. Let me first draw the ogive and then I'll draw the scale. For drawing the uh, ogive, I'll need the cumulative frequency. The 20, 20 with 45 is 65, 65 with 65 is 130, with 95 gives me 225, that gives me 285, 315 and 320. Perfect. What do I have to plot? First term, lower, what lower limit with 0, next after that is all the upper limits with the cumulative frequency 7 with 20 8 with 65 the last column that i make is basically for my reference drawing the or putting this table last column is not mandatory but i always prefer to take that extra one minute to draw this or to put this here next i have to put the uh, and let's plot so 6 with 0 so this is 6 with 0 Next is 7 with 20. Now, uh, 10 small lines is equal to 50, right? So, 10 small lines are 50. So, 50 is equal to 10 small lines. 20 will be equal to how many small lines? 20 into 10 upon 50, that's 4 small lines. So, we, 7 is after. So, after 4 small lines, after 0 is my 20. Correct. So each small line is 5 units. Perfect. 65, which is 3 small lines above 50. Okay. Next is 130. So that's 30, So which means 6 small lines above 100. Next is... Uh, 225 so 5 small lines above 200 next is 285 which means uh, 35 which means 7 small lines above 250 the next is 315 which means 15 more which means 3 small lines above 300 the last one is 320 which means 4 lines small lines above 300. Now let me draw an ogive, join them using freehand. Perfect. Now let me write the scale. On x axis, I have taken 2 cm is equal to rupees 1000, and on y axis, <coughs> I have taken 2 cm is equal to 50 employees. 
perfect let's read the questions the question says the median wage so median wage now number of employees n is 320 so mid 320 so median will be 320 upon 2th term which is 160th term so let's look at 160th term which means 150 and 200 this 50 i need each uh, small line is 5 here as well right so this will be second small line above 150 second small line above 150 will be 160 you will draw this using a scale i think this is the third line yes this is the third line after 9 this is the third small line after 9 which means this is 9.3 perfect so this is 9.3 so median wage is equal to 9.3 into 1000 because it's given in 1000 so this is rupees 9300 perfect let's look at the second part the second part is the number of employees whose income is below 8500 so less than 8500 so let's look at where is 8500 here on the scale exactly between 8 and 9 so i draw a perpendicular from here and i reach the oji and i go on to the y-axis i re realize i am reaching 100 so 100 to 100 people uh, employees are employees who have salary less than 100 oh sorry less than 8500 I started from X axis, so I'm starting a arrow on this side and arrow reaching Y axis. Uh, in the previous one that I drew, which is a median, I forgot to put the arrow, so which I'll put now. I started from the Y axis and I reached the X axis. And I've already written where I reached. This is 100. So this is 100 employees. This is, I remind, this is a less than Ojai, which basically means the number that you get on the y-axis the number below that is less than that so the number of people earning less than 8500 is 100 employees next part if the salary of a senior employee is above 11500 oh so someone who earns more than 11500 he is considered to be a senior employee how many senior employees are there in the company so senior employees are people who earn more than 11000 500 please note i do not have access to another page on this software so i am writing small or uh, writing uh, leaving out some words you will write the full sentence which is number of senior employees earning more than 11500 so this is where 11500 is and i reach my i draw a perpendicular from x axis reaching my ojai i started from the x axis and this is one small line above 300 one small line above 300 all these lines that i'm drawing you will draw using a scale i'm drawing using a free hand i do not have access to a scale on this software so i reach here one small line above 300 would be how many people that's five more than this which is 300 and so number of people who earn more than 11,500 is 350 minus 305, which is equal to, why 350? Total number of people is 320, my mistake, not 350, 320 minus 305. Total number of employees minus employees who earn less than that, which means 15 employees. Please note this is an OJI which means to some students answer may be different and someone else answers may be different so typically you will take two extra lines two small lines above and two small lines below as an accepted answer but you try and make it as perfect as possible i hope you get it this is more than which means you'll have to subtract the number that you get on the y from the total in this case the total is 320 and then the last part of this question the last part of the question is upper quartile which means upper quartile would be q3 
which is 3 into n upon fourth term. In this case, it will be 3 into 320 upon 4, which is 240th term. So let's look at where does my 240th term lie between 200 and 250, which means eighth small line. So this is 240. I start from here, 240, eighth small line above 200. And I reach, I think this is, yes, this is two lines after 10. This is two small lines after 10. You will draw all of this using a scale. I can't say this more often. I do not have access to a scale on this. So this is two small lines after two, uh, 10. I started from the y axis. I reached here. And this is two small lines, which means 10.2. So this is 10 rupees 10,200. Perfect. Thank you so much. Take care. I'll see you with the next video. Bye-bye.